So, should we go into the question of drugs? Oh Lord. <laughs> you know, in India, those who take drugs are the lowest in ignorance. And here, in this country and the drug culture is spreading more and more, not only among the students, but also among the professors and the older people. I wonder why the one takes drugs at all. Why you take whiskey or various forms of alcoholic drinks? And why you smoke? Why? Why do you take drugs? to have, as people have explained <coughs> to the speaker, <coughs> because the speaker has never taken any form of drug or smoke or alcoholic drinks. You, the people who have taken drugs explain to me that these drugs bring about chemical change in the system. And it gives them a certain quality of perception in depth, in clarity. That you take drugs in order to take trips, go off. And the more you take drugs, the more your brain inevitably must become dull. Obviously, like man who takes a lot of alcohol must inevitably pay for it. And apparently, from what one hears, these drugs affect the mind, the brain cells themselves. And one People take drugs also because life has no meaning anymore. Going to the office is a bore. Why should one work at all? Why should one join the establishment? Life has nothing whatsoever to offer except the usual money, position, and if one is intelligent and rather sensitive, one puts aside all that kind of abomination and hopes through drugs to find some kind of experience and are caught in that A chemical experiences. I used to, the speaker used to know a friend who is very well known as a writer, and he used to experiment with these drugs. And one day we discussed this matter, and this writer said, Look, is not are not these experiences through various forms of drugs similar to the real? And in discussing, talking over together, the real cannot be experienced at all. because you cannot possibly recognize it as the real. You cannot possibly say, I have reached enlightenment. That would be most absurd. Which means, any person who says, I know, I have experienced, 
such a person has not experienced the real. Or the man who says, I know, he does not know. So drugs for a man who is really seeking, well, I won't use the word seeking, for, sorry, for the man who is, who is inquiring. And inquiry is not seeking. Inquiry implies a mind that's free to find whatever there is, to see directly what is. For a mind that is inquiring, drugs are a tremendous impediment. They are destructive. They have no value whatsoever to a man who is really completely serious. And as we said, most of us want some kind of supernatural experiences. And we think that's tremendously important because our own lives are rather empty, shallow, and shut. And again, to experience, the word experience implies going through, going through and finishing, not retaining. And when you experience anything, we generally hold on, because that gives us a pleasure, thinking about it. So, meditation, not knowing what it is, is to deny absolutely any form, any system, any method which promises heaven, which promises enlightenment, which promises ecstasy.